Concerts, sporting events and festivals often cause thousands of people to descend into one area. Yet amid the celebrations, things can turn deadly due to a crowd crush. The collective motions of vast numbers of people in a confined space can cause them to become trapped and suffocated. Now, a team of researchers has examined the movements of crowds in an attempt to understand the physics behind this phenomena. When it comes to understanding crowds, most of the previous work has focused on individual behaviours or small numbers of people amongst a group. But physicists often ignore the individual elements in a system, like, say, molecules in this cup of tea, focusing instead on the laws governing movement on a larger scale, known as fluid dynamics. And so they applied this same principle to crowds, essentially modelling them as a fluid. The annual summer madness is on in the streets of Pamplona. It's their way of celebrating the feast of St. Fermin, and all the saints in heaven must be protecting them from injury. Every year on July 6th, people gather in the city of Pamplona for the opening ceremony of the San Fermin festival, the Chupinazzo, preceding the controversial running of the bulls. This initial ceremony attracts over 5,000 people into the 50 meter long and 20 meter wide Plaza Consistorio. The surrounding buildings offer researchers a perfect viewpoint to observe the movements of the crowd. As people gather, they move about the square as they celebrate. However, around 30 minutes before the festival opening, the crowd reaches a critical density of around four people per square metre, and the movement patterns change. The crowd begin to oscillate. These movements are driven not by the individual, but by the crowd as a whole, and are not guided by any external factors. The team were able to observe the same oscillations year on year at the San Fermin Festival, as well as in footage of the Duisburg Love Parade disaster of 2010, where 21 people lost their life. The oscillations observed in these situations are different from those seen in other crowded contexts, like a mosh pit at a concert or stop-and-go waves when large groups of people move in one direction. They spontaneously form these asymmetric orbital oscillations, and these dynamics are not chaotic, but occur periodically. In fact, they have such a unique set of characteristics that only occur at a particular crowd density that the researchers concluded that the emergence of these motions is a collective phenomenon. What's more, like a liquid, the dynamics of this collective motion are influenced by their container. For example, the team observed a moment in the festival when security split the crowd in two halves to let through an orchestra to begin the festival, creating two more tightly confined groups. Each group oscillated independently, but now at a higher frequency, suggesting the time between oscillations depends on the level of confinement. The team hoped that these findings could provide a vital tool for anticipating the danger of a dense crowd by monitoring the velocity of movements in real time. Hopefully, saving lives. <laughs> 